All right. Welcome to part three. Uh, my game crashed at the end of part two, but it was a perfect time because uh, I had to get myself a little bit more water because uh, my PC playing this game, it sounds like a fighter jet, so um makes the room a little bit hot, so I had to re-up on my uh, my water, but we're good now. Hopefully we don't we don't crash again. Uh but yeah. Welcome to the camp. As you can see I changed my clothes. Um Yeah, feeling pretty pretty cool now. Did I uh Okay, I donated all my money. That's good. We don't have a ledger yet. Restock on some ammo and shit. I don't think I have anything I need to restock on, apparently. Okay. Um. Alright, let's look at, uh. Look at some missions here. So we got. Yeah, let's do that. I turned on um, FSR, so hopefully the image quality still looks good. Uh, I think it looks great on my screen, but it's helped the frame rate quite a bit. We got bunk. Ow, ow, ow. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, Fighting to try to survive. You get to think all day. Yeah, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you wanna head into town? See if we can find anything out. Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. You gonna take the old man into town? You can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Damn horse. Good 
Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just no, trying to go. impress the woman. Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> <laughs> back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. Go left here, down the main street. Sheriff's always on the right. Pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. What's gotten into you? All right. Here we are, just like I said. The cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble. Don't get yourself noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. I imagine Paris in Paris. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, if... In my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then... Rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. More. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? Yeah, well, I got no money on me. Okay, wait for me outside when you're done. Let me know if you have any questions, fellers. Here's to your good health, my sir. <laughs> it's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? 
I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Dene and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Yeah. Where's Tilly and Karen? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Get your hands off me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly. You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me. Get off of me. Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> Or would Lee. You wanna find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go away right with here. Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. I'm going, ain't I? Not again. Damn it. Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with Go you. Go away right with there. Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Can I help you, sir? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid 20s, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. Oh, my ears itchy. No trouble now, please. No promises. Okay. Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will.
hope uh, everything's okay up there. After you. <laughs> this isn't one of those like. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Oh, Arthur punched him a lot harder. <sighs> All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Give more. Hey, that's my horse. Just bone it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Th then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. Please. My hands are... All right. Come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. Here is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh, here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense. In this year old mind. Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Yeah. Here for a ticket to the show?
whose show's on right now? We are showing the bear today. Come on, step right up. Excuse me, you don't have a ticket. This way. Come on. friend oh you really were what is your problem good to see you back thanks come on ladies this so, sirloin will put a smile on your man's face Welcome back, mister. <laughs> hey, all right, there we go. Oh, Arthur, Arthur, come here, come here. Come over here, I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a toughest teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly, yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man, I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey! There he is. Watch where you're going. Take it easy, Are you about to kiss that guy or punch him? Huh? Oh, right. and we have our <laughs> answer. Come here, you. Come here, these bastards. Come on. We can handle these. Take it easy, please. Who do you fellas think you are? What you scared of? Huh? 
Sir, you won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. Well. well. I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always... A pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! <laughs> Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill. Come on. Out of the damn way! at Sylvia's Saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient Who's history. Who's your friend there? Ha! Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Luzi Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, you kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. Well, how's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. 
I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. Then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it. And, well, there's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity... Shoot him. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some sad, deluded fools like him, ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him? Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. You creeping about like a damn snake in the dark there. Just get out of here, damn it. You don't like visitors, huh? I told Calm you. Calm down. Nailed it. Help a blind man. A dollar for your future. A dollar for your fate. Turn about tomorrow. I don't have a dollar, dude. Oh, now I need to fight. Need a hand with your horse? Sounds good. <laughs> Shit. Whoa, easy. You must decide between your past and others' future, friend. Decide, for soon it will be too late. Well, okay then. Thank you, I guess. For a moment. The name's William.
Arthur, you familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all, to know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge, kindness, beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly, and nasty. <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. All this help, you deserve something in return. Well, this can cure almost all maladies to your animal, natural uh, and otherwise. Don't ask how. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, traveler. I can see why you do this. All the best to you. Thanks, Arthur. A and to you. Whoa, whoa, steady there. I'll scare away my dinner. Well, you chose a fair spot. Now look what you've done. What's wrong with you? Oh, no, you don't. Come back here. hours I'll never get back. Make any dumb moves. You'll be all right. Okay there. Hey. Hey there. I'm doing just fine out here. But how about you? Leave me be. You should keep an eye on that wagon. Hey. It's a beauty. I've had enough of you. Woo! You got a real issue, don't you? How about I blow your lamp out? You're dead, me.
Gosh darn it. I could use some assistance gathering herbs for my studies. Uh, sure. Uh, you see this purple flower here? This is sage, but I'll need to experiment with more of it before I can be sure of its effects. I found this one with his friends in the woods. I'd check wooded areas for more. Let's try this. Hmm. Oh, yes. I feel ready to take on the world. I'll have trouble sleeping tonight. A man could go for days on this. You've had some long ones, I'm sure. Some sage may just be what you need. Prepare this for long journeys. And hold on tight. Your horse will never want to stop running. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, traveler. Never mind, Dusty. Here. Just had to know your way in. You just get home safe, ma'am. Yes, thank you. You there? Oh, hello? You a bounty hunter? Well, not right now, I ain't. You Black Bell? I'd like to talk to you about your Wild West days. I don't care much for reminiscing. You got any friends as bounty hunters? None that spring to mind. Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. Ah, those bounty hunters. Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. Well, get inside. I'll tell them you're gone. Oh, no, no. 
I ain't hiding from them scalp hunters. Not running from them neither. And fighting? Yeah, if it's just me against them, <laughs> that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerin. Well, let me know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? Yes, I do. All right. Get up here quick. Now, when I give you the word, hit that. Whole place is wired. Black Bell, I got a contract here for your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, mister. Come here, let me take a look at it. Come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> Stop just there. Now, send it out. Goddamn scalp hunters off your back. Uh, for now. For now. So, you gonna tell me about your Wild West days? Running with Jim Boy Calloway? Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight. And that's about the end of it. Well, a man's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say. But, uh, don't get what's famous confused with what's true. The ones of us that lived that life, we was too busy being scared for our scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. Well, what were they like then? Those days they all talk about. <sighs> Same as now, I guess. Only longer ago. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna need your picture, too, if it ain't a trouble. No, sir, no trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. <laughs> Hell, great. Well, you stand over there and uh, let me get this thing ready. Uh, ready? How do you want me? Like this? Okay, I got it. Then I guess I'll be on my way. Here. <laughs> Well, thank you, Mrs. Bell. You gonna be all right? Oh, been running for 20 years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Help me. I need a doctor. Uh, 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 you gotta. Uh, 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 you gotta. Uh, 
Where am I? He's just too much for me. Don't you give up now. Well, I never. All right, boy. I'm dying. I this is it. You trying to piss me off? Right here, and sit him down in this chair. What happened? Just saw you fall out of the saddle. Don't worry, you're at the doctor. Thanks, friend. I appreciate it. Sure. There's also the matter of my payment. But we'll deal with that later. All right. All right. A lot of blood loss. And this wound's badly infected. Ah! I'll save as much as I can, but I'll have to amputate. What? What did you say? Just try to breathe. Uh, I'll give you something for the pain. No. Uh, there ah! you are. Then I'll knock him out for a while. You did a good thing bringing him here. But now, I'd recommend moving along. <clears throat> you do not want to see this. Sorry it's come to this. Ah, oh, Jesus. Good work, Doctor. Yeah, he's lucky. Wounds like that will kill you if you aren't careful. He's lucky he just lost the arm. <sighs> it's nice of you to stay, but don't fret. He'll make it. Come now. Let's let him rest. All we can do now is hope for the best.
bullshit. You're as good as dead. Oh, oh Lord, no! You monster! Don't move, up, goddamn. tooth and nail for this territory and here's you just strolling through just minding my own business I killed a lot of folk to keep this town free happy to add you to the list clear off right now you don't leave I'll enjoy making you all right, you are done. Ah, right, bastard. Stay right there. <laughs> Who's talking now, huh? Got the nerve to put a bullet in me? Cause you better. Damn it now, to hell. Just gonna check your pockets. I'll come back for you. I promise. Rip pro All right. Gonna ah. get you, asshole. Don't you do this. All right, let's go. Shit. can't believe that worked. You even know what you're doing? I know how to take care of myself, partner. Yeah, well, we don't got time to celebrate. Come on. So, what's your plan, anyway? Plan? I plan not to get caught. It hey, ain't up, my problem. Up. Hey, partner. <clears throat> Mister? Looking for something? Got any idea what time it is? You wanna die, huh? D. 
here. Don't do this. Okay. You sick bastard. Sick. <laughs> Visitors, huh? Go on and get lost. Oh, so don't mind me. You better leave or I'll move you myself. God damn it! Somebody stay. help me! What's with the color? Oh, I got bit. Oh, God. Oh, I need medicine or a siphon. Oh, oh, oh. All right. All right. Quit moments. <laughs> Let's keep this between us. Oh, you saved my life. I owe you. Got that right. I do. Oh. Oh. Now I, I gotta get out of here. No! Oh. God! Don't much like it around here no more. Glad I could help. Keep your eyes on the ground, huh? God damn it! What are you doing? You been messing with things here? Calm down, will you? Don't you think okay, it's... Okay, okay. I'm done now. I swear. <laughs> That's it. Get the hell out of here. It's a stage company lockbox. You just we don't got the key. Mister, help! Hey, 
Shut up. Get out of here. Act like. Open up on him. Shut up. What kind of day am I having? This is uh, very kind of you. Did they... Excuse me? Because if they did, they can get lost. <laughs> I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laughed at, balderdash. What are you doing? Are you quite certain you're not a spy? A spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. What theories? I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere... Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis? Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. If you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir. Who's that? Arthur, you dumbass. Look who's back. Hi, John. Hey, Vincent. All right, well now that this has uh, come full circle, I've been beat to shit, lost my hat, gotta go get that back. Um, yeah, I think that's gonna do it. It's uh, it's 12 o'clock, midnight, so uh, <laughs> should probably get to sleep. But uh, thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.